What is going on everybody? Coach Jay in the house. The house that Airdrie built. Back for another edition of Technique Tuesday. We've got a, a bunch of brand new exercises for you guys here for this round. And if you're fortunate enough, you're gonna get to be able to do a lying kettlebell chest press. So the difference between using a kettlebell and a dumbbell is you're gonna notice that the kettlebell is gonna be a little bit more awkward, number one. Number two, <coughs> It's gonna focus on that weight distribution. So that weight distribution between a kettlebell and a dumbbell is very different. So it changes the dynamics of the movement. The grip strength as well is gonna change the dynamics of the movement. So before you even uh, decide not to try this, try with the kettlebell, go light first uh, before you actually grab a dumbbell and use it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what's involved here. We're gonna grab the, the kettlebell, we're gonna lay down, and then we are going to press. So here, if you notice, if I'm pressing at an angle, that kettlebell is gonna be pressing up against my forearm, okay? So if that's too much, bring your elbows out to about shoulder height, so that when you press straight up, okay, and when you press straight up, the kettlebell is gonna come straight down instead of at that angle where it's gonna press up against your forearm, all right? So the further back here, at about shoulder height, you're gonna notice that the kettlebell is gonna come straight down. It's gonna work on your wrist stability because you gotta balance that kettlebell as well. Elbows are gonna come down flat to the floor to get that full range of motion. All right, by doing that as well, we're reducing the, the bounce. So we're gonna isolate those muscles a little bit more, recruit as many muscle fibers as we can, and we're just gonna press up. Working on only our wrist strength, grip strength, we're gonna get the triceps, and the pecs as well. All right, so try that. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you, see you in the studio soon. Peace.